Welcome back to the channel, my name is Coach Ben. Today's video, we're unboxing the brand new Predator 30 in the blackout colorway. and a quick on feed portion on the little turf area that I have at home. Um, these are dangerously good. nostalgic than it is functional um, but this is the second pair that I have so I have the second launch colorway which is a little more vibrant and a little more traditional in terms of the throwback towards the predator um, but these right here these are the blackout colorway um, So for me personally, um, the fit is incredible. Um, it was, I would say for narrow feet and just traditional normal feet, maybe not so much wide feet, it was very tight, it felt very locked down, didn't have much movement. Like I said, the tongue, is, it's more nostalgic than it is functional. Um, I didn't really notice any main difference, but then again, it was just a quick little passing, just fit and feel to see how it felt. Um, and I can tell you that I wear a size nine and a half in most every boot. Um, so my current boot that I train with and I play in is the Tiempo Legend 10, the AG version. And I wear those in a nine and a half and it's true to size. So it's a good fit, locked down, toes aren't cramped. I don't have a lot of unnecessary pain and pressure in anywhere. Very same feeling with these Predator 30s. 
fit absolutely perfect. Wear a nine and a half. So if you're gonna buy them, I would say go to True to Size um, if, if you want the most locked down, secure feeling. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do a full play test, so we're gonna go out to a bigger field. We're actually gonna hit some balls, some shots, um, a little more in depth to see how it feels in terms of the twists and the turns. Like I said, this was more just putting them on real quick to see how it was, because again, it's nostalgic. Um, it's been a long time since we've had a Predator with a fold over tongue. The one that comes to mind for me, like right off the bat, is David Beckham's Absolute in the blue colorway, the maroon colorway. Those were, like, that's the first Predator that pops up in my head when I think fold over tongue. And so these right here, I think Adidas did a fantastic job. Just, just killed it. Killed it with the colorway, killed it with the style of the throwback, because I think a lot of people really wanted a more traditional boot versus all the gimmicky stuff that's out now at all, you know, it's just too much technology. And so I think this offers a very, a very simple, no fuss, no extra unnecessary stuff job. And I think Adidas, if they continue with this, it's, it's going to be a bang. And so the new colorway that's coming out, I think this Friday, which is this pair, which is a throwback to all the gunmetal colorways. I think that's going to be an awesome boot if you're able to get it. Um, I got these from Adidas when they dropped, and so just a little FYI for Adidas, if you're wanting to get a pair through the Adidas app, it's going to be after midnight on the day releases. So I got these at like 12.30 midnight because obviously Adidas is based in Germany, so that's when they actually drop over there, so in the Adidas app, and that's where you can get these. So if you're wanting to get the new pair that comes out this Friday, that would be my suggestion is wait until Thursday at midnight to check the Adidas store, check the Adidas app to see if it's online. Then you just got to act quickly. A lot of bots, but you might get lucky. So again, full play test coming soon with these, but this is the brand new Predator 30. This reminds me of the Nighthawk or Stealth Pack that they released a couple years ago with just kind of blackout versions because you do have a lot of the little sparkly accents that are there um, as well as the shiny soul play, which I imagine if you play on turf, maybe not so much with grass, turf is going to wear this away very very quickly so it'll be interesting to see what's underneath it um, I got these in just the firm ground version because that was all that was available on the Adidas app I do train exclusively on turf so I don't know if I will wear these to training um, I might be in, I might contemplate getting the tongueless version just because it's well less expensive but maybe a little more traditional and not as flashy as having a tongue version of the boot. Still great if you're able to get a pair of these, highly recommend them, it's a great throwback, it's a great fit, great feel. Stay tuned for a future video when we do a full play test of what it's like to actually put it on, run through some drills, run through some SAQs, dynamics, see what the actual traction is on both grass and turf. I'm excited about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe for future content. Peace.